I am a world citizen. Every citizen is my own. Between the United States and the Japanese Empire. По проведению специальных военных операций. It's often said that, in the world of politics, friendships aren't permanent, they're more about lasting interests and benefits. It's a perspective that's tossed around, quite a bit. While this perspective holds true in many instances. However, there are also cases where diplomatic, cultural, or historical ties, contribute to the development of genuine friendships between nations. We're all familiar with the enduring relationship, between India and Russia. Or in the realm of India's major diplomatic ties, much attention is often given to its relationships with the United States and China. But did you know that there's been a Western ally standing with India since 1961, and that country is France? The bond between India and France is not just a recent affair, it's been thriving since the early days of India's nationhood, and even long before that. The valuable alliances, that India has cultivated with France tend to be overlooked, despite the significant strategic potential this partnership holds, particularly in the Indo-Pacific era. Today, we're going to explore how this long-standing friendship has influenced where India stands globally by looking back at the past, considering the present, and even pondering its impact on the future. And how can India reap benefits from this solid friendship? So, stick around for these intriguing discussions, that truly matter. Since 1998, India and France have been strategic partners, keeping their relationship pretty strong and steady. It might not get the same spotlight as India's ties with the United States, or Russia, but that's kind of the charm. Being underrated, gives space for leaders and diplomats on both ends to work on things, without carrying the baggage of too many expectations. Historical ties. Exploring their historical ties, both countries share a centuries-old history of trade relations. France had a colonial presence in the Indian subcontinent, from the 17th century until 1954, with Puducherry, one of its former Indian territories, now a popular tourism destination for French travelers, to India. In 1947, formal diplomatic ties between France and India started. Fast forward to 1962, a crucial turning point, in that year, an agreement allowed residents of France's Indian possessions to shape their political destiny. The real game changer came on August 16, 1962, when France handed over full sovereignty, paving the way for the administration of Pondicherry and other areas under the Union territory of Puducherry from July 1, 1963. Now, the fascinating part is that, whatever their history is, as France's colonial presence in India, the partnership between India and France, encompasses various facets of bilateral cooperation, featuring a strategic element. France has been consistent, in not commenting on India's internal affairs, or foreign policy. While taking a leading role in the Western response, to Russia's war in Ukraine, France hasn't joined other Western countries in publicly exhorting India to change its stand. Notably, in 1974 and 1998, France didn't support sanctions against India for its nuclear tests either, it even supplied uranium for the Tarapur reactors. France has consistently supported India's ambitions for a permanent seat on the United Nations Security Council and endorsed its entry into groups like the Missile Technology Control Regime, Wassenaar Arrangement, and Australia Group. The support continues for India's bid to join the Nuclear Suppliers Group. Also, both nations unite against terrorism, actively working for the Comprehensive Convention on International Terrorism at the UN. Post the Pulwama attack in 2019, France backed India, labeling Hafiz Saeed, a global terrorist, and supporting efforts at the UN to shield Indian citizens from the UNSC 1267 Sanctions Committee. The Joint Working Group on Counter-Terrorism is a testament to their coordinated efforts. France's Minister Jean Noel Barrett's presence at the Third Ministerial Conference on No Money for Terror in November 2022 underlines their solidarity. This collaboration doesn't end here, it involves close coordination in defense, civil nuclear energy, space, and security domains, such as cybersecurity, counterterrorism, and intelligence. 
In terms of defense, the two nations have had a long-standing positive relationship. Dating back to the 1960s, French aircraft and helicopters, such as Ouragan, Mystère, Elysée, Alouette, Jaguar, a joint Anglo-French project, Mirage, and Rafale, have been integral parts of the Indian Air Fleet. Over the course of numerous challenges and successes, France has consistently been a significant supplier of military hardware to India, especially in the realm of military aviation. A recent example of this collaboration is the sale of Rafale aircraft, coupled with the agreement for the joint development of a combat aircraft engine. Now, in the context of India's vision for self-reliance in defense, with a keen focus on scaling up co-development and co-production of defense technologies, this partnership with France is becoming increasingly crucial. Because, this collaboration isn't just about developing cutting-edge defense technologies for India, but also aims to extend these benefits to third countries. It's aimed at sharing these advancements globally, reaching beyond borders for mutual benefit. A noteworthy example is the shareholders' agreement, inked between Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and France's Safran helicopter engine, a significant stride in the development of the Indian multi-role helicopter. This project not only strengthens India's defense capabilities, but also opens avenues to share this advanced technology with other countries, promoting collaboration and mutual benefit. Beyond this, more ambitious submarine projects are on the horizon, building on the success of the first Scorpion submarine construction program P-75 Calvary. An additional memorandum of understanding has been signed between Guard and Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers Limited and Naval Group France for the development of surface ships. As part of further strengthening defense ties, India is establishing a technical office of the Defense Research and Development Organization at its embassy in Paris. In the digital payments sector, India's NPCI International Payments Limited, NIPL and France's Lyra Collect, teamed up to introduce UPI payments in France and Europe. This means that retailers in France can now utilize UPI as their digital payment system, making France the first European country to enable such payments. In a nutshell, it's a significant development that expands the reach of UPI beyond India. The partnership also extends into space collaboration, marking a critical aspect of the bilateral relationship with global implications. The Indo-French space collaboration achieved significant milestones in recent years. Back in 2013, India tapped into French expertise to launch strategic communication satellites for its navy. Fast forward to August 2019, there was a groundbreaking commitment between CNES and Israel. They decided to team up and create a one-of-a-kind satellite constellation designed for continuous ship tracking and detecting oil spills. Also, France's participation in ISRO's upcoming Venus mission in 2025 marks another significant leap, opening new avenues for international cooperation in space exploration. Their teamwork went beyond space exploration into climate monitoring, resulting in the creation of Trishna, a cutting-edge high-resolution thermal observer. This innovation is specifically designed for applications such as sustainable agriculture and drought forecasting. The satellite for this mission is expected to be launched in either 2024 or 2025. India's recent achievements in high-profile space missions, such as Chandrayaan-3 and Aditya-L1, have substantially elevated its standing in the global space sector. This enhanced credibility is expected to attract increased foreign investments, particularly benefiting the burgeoning startup ecosystem in the country. Moreover, the active involvement of private entities in these missions has opened doors for new collaborative ventures and partnerships in the future. The traditional agency-to-agency -agency cooperation between Israel and CNES now needs to be taken forward to industry-to-industry -to -industry and startups so that both the nations building on each other's space strength can be global players in the new emerging space market. Over the years, India and France also worked together on new technologies, especially things like artificial intelligence and machine learning. They joined a group called GPAI in June 2020, where they focused on using AI in an ethical way. They talked about important things like ensuring internet security, developments in AI, quantum computing, semiconductors, and high-performance computing to address important technological challenges together. Working together with the US, 
This group is important for dealing with issues related to AI and ML. India got support because of its abilities and smart plans. They also made agreements about technology between India's Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology and France's Ministry of Economy. India and France also collaborated on key issues like the Indo-Pacific and maintaining strategic autonomy in a multipolar world order. The Indo-Pacific concept has proven pivotal in fostering the robust relationship between France and India. Prime Minister Modi and President Macron aim to be balanced shapers, rejecting dominance by any single power and actively contributing to shaping the global agenda. Both leaders establish robust ties with major powers without over-alliance, avoiding Cold War-style bloc competition. Also, the partnership between India and France is all about putting people, the planet, and partnerships at the center of their vision. Even though France is a NATO member, it has a history of doing things independently, especially when dealing with the United States. India, on the other hand, has always been keen on practicing its strategic autonomy since becoming an independent nation. While PM Modi has pursued autonomy by enhancing India's nuclear weapons profile and building military and economic networks, with multiple great powers such as the United States, France, and Japan, at the same time Modi's India remains formally opposed to joining a military alliance, but Macron is regularly critical of NATO in a very gaullist manner. France, distinctively among Quad partners, has a direct stake in Indian Ocean stability, due to its overseas territories in the southern Indian Ocean, and military bases in the northern Indian Ocean, Djibouti, and the United Arab Emirates, UAE. This has given way to fruitful bilateral cooperation, enshrined in the joint strategic vision of India-France cooperation, in the Indian Ocean region, adopted in 2018. France currently has 1.5 million French citizens and 8,000 soldiers stationed in the Indo-Pacific region. For France, India is a key partner in advancing its security interests in the region, aligning with nations like Japan and Australia. Collaborative military exercises like Varuna, Shakti, and Garuda enhance cooperation between security forces. Moreover, the Indo-French collaboration extends beyond bilateral efforts, encompassing trilateral formats with Australia and the UAE, and strategic partnerships with nations like Greece and Egypt. These partnerships not only highlight connections between the Indo-Pacific and the Mediterranean, but also complement the traditionally US-led security framework in the region. The engagement also involves mini-lateral partnerships, exemplified by I2U2, India, Israel, the UAE, and the United States, which collectively enhance the security architecture in the region. France is also important for India's plans in Africa, because France has a lot of influence in many African countries. These countries speak French, like Rwanda, Niger, Burkina Faso, Ivory Coast, Senegal, Cameroon, Madagascar, Democratic Republic of the Congo, and Algeria. France also has control over the money used in Central Africa. There's a group called the Wagner Group that has become powerful in the region. This group has started to influence the politics of the region considerably, from destabilizing governments to performing security operations for them. Its growth has been linked to anti-neo-colonial sentiments against the French in these countries. So, for India if it wants to deepen its presence in African states, it should work together with France to keep the region stable. India's friendship with France also holds significance for its future in Europe. As India discusses a free trade agreement with the EU, having a strong partnership with a major player like France will play a crucial role. There are some sensitive matters, like investor protection agreements, require affirmation from individual countries, even for the broader FTA to be approved by the European Parliament. Therefore, this partnership adds weight and speed to the entire process. New Delhi and Paris navigate strategic landscapes with a savvy perspective, weaving sensibility not only in the Indo-Pacific but also across diverse realms. They reject the binary notion of, with us or against us, and sculpt a nuanced approach to international relations. Like adept sailors, navigating the waves of competition, cooperation, and disagreements, India and France chart their course. Steering clear of entanglements 
they have the potential to forge friendships and partnerships even stronger than before.